we're going to now continue the use of functions in VexCode VR, but this time using Python. So again, the reason we use functions is to simplify our code, to compartmentalize it, uh, put it in places, in, in this case, in a function. Um, so VexCode VR, Python, provides you a place to uh, grab a function name here. It's at the very bottom. Um, so this, whoops, this is going to go here before the main program. I'm going to give it a space just for readability. Uh, here is where you're defining your function name. The example I'm going to use today is the same one I used in the blocks version. It is going to be a move to Y position. So I want uh, to be able to move the robot to a certain Y position. And I am going to pass it a value um, corresponding to the Y position I want to move it to. So here is where I named the function. Here is the variable or, or the value of the variable that I'm going to pass to it. OK, so here where it says pass, we're going to write actually the code that's going to do this. So like in many other instances, we're going to grab a while loop, put that there. Let's get rid of pass. OK, you know it comes with a wait statement. Um, here we're going to move forward. This has to be tabbed in so that it's in the while. Um, you'll notice the while is tabbed in inside the function name. That is a requirement as well. Everything you want in the function has to be tabbed in. There has to be a colon after the definition uh, line. OK, what is the condition we're going to put here? What is the condition in which we're going to move forward? We're going to use the y position. We're going to use an inequality. So first, let's grab the distance, sorry, the position of the robot while the location in the y direction is less than, so it's, it's down here. So while it's uh, lower than a certain position, which we're going to call y position, so we don't want to just put in a, a specific number here, we're putting in a number that we can change through this variable. So while the position of the robot has not yet reached, is lower than this y position we're going to feed it, the robot will keep moving in this while loop. When the while loop is over, let's have the robot stop. You do not want this tabbed in because otherwise it would be in the while loop. We want it to stop after the while loop is done. Again, remember a while loop needs a colon. OK, so here is the definition of our function. That does not go in the main part of the program. It goes up here. So now in the main part of the program, let's get rid of this, is where we're going to call our program. Um, so in regards to variables, we could put y position here. And we could define it up here, you know, equal to something. We don't have to. We can declare it here in the function like we've done. Either way is fine. I do want to show you what happens if I do. Um, remember, I have to tab in all these functions, all these commands. Let's say I do want, I set the y position to some value. I want to show you that if I now call this function, and this is the way you call a function, the name that you defined it as, that's the name of the function, and then the value that you want to give to that function. So I'm going to have the robot move from where it is, now, way down here, negative 900 millimeters in the y direction, up to uh, negative, let's say, 200. So I'm going to put negative 200 in there. So that's what I'm passing. That's what I want the robot to move to. Um, so that you can see that this actually works, let's have the robot uh, rotate after it does this. And we'll have it rotate 360 degrees. And then the beauty of this is we can set a new y position. So we originally, we asked it to go move to negative 200. Let's say we have it move to 300. And then we can call this, the function that we created again. And this time. 
I'm going to put in. Oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this here. I'm just going to simply, excuse me, I am just going to put in the value here of what I want the robot to move to, the Y position I want it to move to. All right, let's try this. Okay, there it moves up to negative 200. This is what I told it to do. Now it's rotating. Now I've called it again, the function again, so it should move up to 300 and stop because we asked it to stop. Thank you for listening.